In this video, we're going to learn how to get absolute values in Python. Now, finding the absolute value of a number is such a common thing to want to do. There's actually just a Python built-in function to do this for you. It's called abs. So an example of using it, we'll set a value x to negative 5. We'll just run abs on that value, and we'll get the absolute value, 5. Now you can also get the absolute value of all the items in a list by using map on abs. So I'll show an example of that. Here we're going to make a new list called x. It has some different values in it, some of them being negative numbers. So maybe we want to get the absolute values of those and make them be positive. One way we could do that is use the map function. We're going to map the absolute value function onto our list x and then star within these list braces, we'll extract that all into a new list. So basically all this is doing is doing absolute value on every single thing in the list and returning it as a new list. Now you can also calculate the absolute value of a NumPy array. It will work on those as well. So if you're working with NumPy, we're importing NumPy's MP. That is a package for doing numerical computing in Python. We're going to convert that list we made above into a NumPy array and we'll just run abs on that. And now this will directly convert all of these numbers into their absolute value equivalents without having to do that map operation we did. So that's kind of just another way of mapping absolute values onto a list, first converting it into a NumPy array. In addition to that, if you happen to be working with the pandas package for doing data science, abs will also work on pandas columns. So we'll import pandas as pd. We'll make a new pandas data frame with pd.dataframe with a column call one set equal to that list we made earlier. We'll print it so we can see what it looks like. And then if we just call abs on that whole column, so df call one is getting us that whole column, that will convert everything in that column to its absolute value equivalent. So we'll run that and we can see that at first the column has those negative values in it, but then after we call abs on it, those are all converted into their absolute value equivalents. If you found this video useful, you can drop a like or hit subscribe. And thanks for watching.